Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your HX Stomp or Helix or HX Stomp XL and stuff like that to have more than just the three buttons. So in the usual settings, you either have Stomp mode or you have Preset Up and Down mode or Preset Select mode or snapshot mode, which is one of my favorite ways to use this. But in reality, you can actually get more use out of it. You can customize these to be whatever you want. So you can have each of these be a different button than just snapshot or just preset mode, which you can also expand using external controllers like this one, you get two extra buttons, which I will get to. So this video is going to cover more ways to customize your HX stomp or different helix units. So it can be more customized to fit what you're trying to do with your setup. And again, this does work with the, the helix, helix LT, HX stomp XL or the HX stomp. I'm just demoing this on the HX stomp because it's the one I use the most and it's the easiest one to film. So before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff on helix, HX stomp, quick tips, long tips, deep dives, finding cheap stuff for musicians on Amazon, wireless in your monitors, MIDI programming, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe Subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell and don't forget to like the video if you find this useful. All right, let's get started. Okay, so yeah, the most common ways to use this, you hit this page button, you can scroll through the different settings. And by the way, I did do a whole video on snapshot mode if you're unfamiliar with what that is. So be sure to check that out. Let me go ahead and darken the screen so that's easier to see what's going on here. So most of the time, you know, you would go and you would assign a block. So say if I want distortion, I would double tap these go to bypass assign and then I would assign it to what foot switch would I like to assign it to foot switch one, two, three, four, or five if I have the extra ones or expression pedal. So foot switch one is what I have it set to. I did a whole video explaining how to assign the blocks. If you're unfamiliar with that, I would watch that before continuing to this video. But what a lot of people don't know is there is command center in here. So to get here, you push these two buttons together and then you see command center right here. So you push that and you get into this mode right here. Now I did a whole nother video, again, I'm just promoting all my other videos today, but I did a whole video with a full deep dive into this. So if you wanna find out more about how this works, go watch that video, but you basically, you have these instant commands, so things that get sent when you load this patch, but then you can set your foot switch to do different things like MIDI commands, bank. You can send it to say a note, so I can send it to say G sharp two. You have play, stop, fast forward, and rewind to control like your DAW and stuff like that hotkeys, which is crazy. So I can say send shift B to my computer, really wild stuff, preset up and down snapshot, which I'm which is what I'm going to do to show you and then looper mode, which again, here, it's, it's, it's the it's the Scott Ewell music promo video, I did do a whole video on the looper as well. So be sure to check that out. So for foot switch one is currently assigned to a distortion. So it turns on and off a distortion. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unassign that for now to make it simple. So bypass assign, I'm going to set it to nothing. So this button literally does nothing right now. So I'm going to go back to my command center, and I'm going to go to foot switch one. And what I want to do is I'm going to assign this to load so I can do preset next or previous or I can load a specific preset so I can set it to load preset 17. So now when I push this button, I'm not going to do it, but it's going to load preset 17. So you have load preset 17. Here's a tremolo on and off. And here's a hall reverb on and off. Or I can set that to like a snapshot. So I can set it to load snapshot one, snapshot two, or snapshot three. One thing that's interesting, so you have press and release or press and hold. Most of the time you're gonna want press and release. So you can actually set this so when I press it, it loads snapshot three, but then when I release it, it can load snapshot one. That's a pretty advanced setting if you ever need that. But now I have this set to load snapshot three. So whenever I push this button now, it loads snapshot three. So let me actually set this back. So I'm gonna set this to, I'm gonna set foot switch one to load preset 16. I'm gonna set foot switch two to load a snapshot, snapshot three. So now you can see this is completely different. So I have, I can automatically jump to preset 16. And then what would be nice is that, you know, in preset 16, I can also set this to go back to preset 22 or something like that, which would be a really nice and fast way to jump between different presets, just another option. But now this loads snapshot three, and then this loads your hall reverb. So the thing that's kind of tough about this though, especially with the HX stomps, since you only get three buttons, is I basically can load Pre snapshot three, but I don't have a way to go to some of the other ones. So one of the ways you might want to do this is you might want to actually set it instead of to a specific snapshot, you could say previous snapshot, 
or next snapshot. So when I hit next snapshot, actually, let me go ahead and unassign the tremolo really quick, just so there's no confusion here. But right now, see how it is snapshot up? So snapshot one, two, and three. So you can see the snapshot changing up here. But you'll notice I have to push it once and then turn it off, push it again, turn it off, and push it again in order to get it to switch. The way that you fix that is on release, you set it to next as well. Make sense? So it's kind of it's kind of tricky. You do have to look at the top because the light will light up. But this is a good way to just scroll through snapshots with one button on the HX stump. Because again, you only get three or five if you use the device I'm gonna cover here in a minute. But that is a way to have individual control. So instead of having three buttons for a snapshot, you can actually just scroll through your snapshots like this and make it nice and easy and still have access to like two button, two extra buttons or four extra buttons. Make sense? So that's how you can customize this to be whatever you would like. So like I mentioned, it can be really beneficial to jump between presets. So say you go between preset 22 and preset 16, you set this button right here to switch between those. So when I push this button, it goes to snapshot 16. And then I could set in command center, this one to go to preset, what was it, 22, I think was the one I was on. So now when I push that, now I'm back here. Of course, I didn't, of course, I didn't save all of that. So now all of that's deleted. But so just make sure you save it. Otherwise, it won't remember that. But that is the way that you can program these buttons to do whatever you would like and have them customize. Now, like I mentioned, let's get a little bit of light on just so you can see it. This is the Mission Engineering TT2 pedal. This thing is awesome. It's built super solid. It's one of the best things I've added to my HX stomp. It gets you an extra two buttons out of your HX stomp. So you plug that into your expression input, which is right up here. It's the first input, command center. And again, you have those up here. You have foot switch four and foot switch five. So you get the same thing that you can do in here. I can set those to MIDI CC, MIDI toggle, bank, preset up and down or snapshot up and down. Okay, so what you can do now is you can have these three be foot switch stomps. So, you know, distortion, tremolo and reverb. But now I can set like foot switch four can be either bank or snapshot or preset. So I can set this one to be snapshot next, and this one would be snapshot previous. See how it's going backwards or going upwards. So you can do that as well. So that's a good way to get just extra control out of this. And again, you can also set that to be presets up and down. So next, and then foot switch four will be previous. But the thing, only thing that's tough about that is now it scrolls through, but I don't have that assigned. Oh, I do have it assigned. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't think that would work. That's really interesting. So I actually didn't know this. As I was filming this, I thought it would not work. So let me go back to this. So in foot switch four, I'm going to go to preset. So next and foot switch five is going to be previous. So this is next, this is previous. So now when I push it, it does scroll through them. It'll, it'll scroll through them, even though I haven't assigned any of these. If you go into the command, now watch what happens. When I go into the command center again, those aren't assigned to anything. Once I edit something in here, it no longer scrolls through those. So that's actually really smart and really cool that uh, line six figured that out. So yeah, so when you set this to preset mode, so again, I'm just going to set this, this one to next, it scrolls through until you push a button. And now it no well, actually, it still does. Wow, that's really, really smart of this thing. So you could set this to scroll through the different presets. So even with all my HX Stomp videos, I'm learning something new today. That's actually really, really cool. So I definitely recommend getting this. It's only like 60 bucks. There is another one that's cheaper on Amazon. I haven't used it. Maybe I'll have to buy it and do a review video on. This one is just rock solid. I have taken this one all over the world. It, it is just built like a tank. I highly recommend this one. So one of the things you might have noticed is in Command Center, when you're trying to assign something, you don't get an option to set the tuner or the tap tempo. So the way you do that is actually in global settings right here. 
And guess what? Believe it or not, I did a whole nother video on global settings for the Helix and the HX Stomp. So watch that video if you're interested. But what you do is I'm going to go to um, you only get it. This only happens in Stomp 3. You cannot assign as of this video. You can't assign one or two to be the tuner. But for Stomp 3, you can put it all the way to the beginning and set it to always be tap tempo slash tuner. Or you can set it for Stomp 4 can always be it or stomp five, which is actually the way that I use it. This is my configuration. I use foot switch three to be stomp three, foot switch four as stomp four, and then five, which again is the second button on this thing, is always my tap, tempo and tuner. So just FYI, that's how you assign the tuner. Okay, so something a little more advanced here. So what happens if I have these assigned? Let me go back to my the one that I was on. So something interesting, you can see that this one is set to turn my distortion on and off. What if I go into here and I assign foot switch one to be like snapshot uh, next? Let's just set it to be snapshot next. So now you can see it scrolls through the snapshots, right? And again, this double press thing is actually going to really help. But if you look, do you see my distortion is actually turning on and off every time that I push it? That's because, now watch, when I tap this, it shows that there's two different controls assigned to this. So when I push it once, it turns on or off the distortion, push it again, and it scrolls through the snapshots. See how it's turning off and on? And then it goes to snapshot. Off, on, off, on, but it scrolls through the snapshots. I don't know how useful that would be. That might be a little tricky to remember, but I did want to show you that is an advanced option if you want to assign two different things to one of these controllers. Pretty, pretty crazy, but that option is there. That's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys how you can customize your pedals to be more what you wanted it to be. Just do me a favor. If you got use out of this video, just do me a favor. Hit the like button really quick. It does a ton to help out the YouTube algorithm and help push my channel. So I would really appreciate it. I will post the link down below on where to get that external foot switch, which I do recommend getting. It's a really awesome foot switch, as well as a couple other accessories that I recommend for the HX Stomp. So be sure to check the description down below to find stuff about that. Again, I post... <laughs> I know I mentioned that I did a billion different videos on the HX Stomp, but check out the playlist or some of the videos by clicking the link on your screen right now if you want to see more tips about how to use the HX Stomp and Helix units. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Ewell Music. Thank you guys again for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that like button if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I'm assuming you found it useful, so it would definitely help me out. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.